OpenAI just released an update yesterday, so in this video I thought we can take a look at it. We're especially going to focus on the part uh, of GPT for Turbo where they have intended to reduce cases of laziness where the model doesn't complete the task. So I have definitely noticed this too, especially when I'm doing like some coding project or something and I need help. And it's very annoying. Sometimes it just like does this classic here, your modified script here. Yeah, that's very helpful, right? So we're going to dive into some examples. I have some earlier examples. We're going to compare it to the new one. So yeah, let's just get going. So I have seen tons of posts on Reddit where people are claiming like that the model has been lazy. And if you see here, this is something I always get to. So rest of your code here, existing code. And it's very annoying when you try to do something because you, you want to be fast, right? You just want to copy the code and paste it in. Uh, and that's very annoying when it just pastes this existing code. It doesn't really help that much. So if we go to my example here, I just want to show you. I pasted in quite a bit of a code snippet here. And yeah, it gave some ID. But I kind of always had to say this. Uh, I need the full completed code for the project, of course. Don't be lazy. And even if I do that, sometimes it just gives me... If we scroll down here. Your existing vision crawl logic goes here. Your existing screen logic goes here. So I hate this because it's very annoying. So I have to go. Uh, why do you keep your existing two screenshot log logic here? I need a full code. Because it just takes me more time to kind of update this. I, then I could have just done it myself, right? So I thought we're just going to take a look at this. Because I went over to... So I select the new GPT-4 1025 preview, right? So this is supposed to be the new one. So you can see, yeah, GPT-4 uh, 1025 preview. And I kind of prompted it the same way here. I gave it uh, like my original prompt from this GPT-4 example, right? And I just continued with the same prompt. Okay, so we, we got a response back here the first time. Then I need the full completed code for the project, of course. Don't be lazy, right? So if you go back to my example here. So let me zoom out a bit like this. So this was the part when I wrote, I need the full completed code for the project. Don't be lazy. And this is kind of what it gave me here. It still continue with your existing functions here. Open file, save file. And yeah, I kind of didn't give me the full code. I had to ask again. And still it gave me this your existing crawl logic here. And I got kind of angry. Uh, I think I just gave up. Again, I feel you skip parts of the full complete code. Don't do this. I need a full code with every single line. Uh, I apologize for any confusion. So I was very annoyed by this, I remember. So when we tried it here now, you can clearly see an improvement. Because when I ran this now, uh, yeah, I kind of got the full code, code the first time. So that is looking pretty promising. Like, this is just my first test. I haven't done any like extension testing, but uh, yeah, looking good, right? You can clearly see an improvement. But uh, I don't know if this is just because we are using like the API. Is this going to get integrated into the browser version of ChatGPT4? I don't know. Because this is what we are paying for, right? So hopefully they will put the GPT4.0.1.25 into the new ChatGPT, the browser version. Because paying $20 for this when you always have to ask for more code because it doesn't complete the task. So hopefully that's going to be integrated soon. But at least it's looking promising. Um, from the API side. So let's just do a quick check if they have actually implemented something into the browser. So I'm going to copy my prompt. Let's paste it into a new ChatGPT4 window here and let this run. Okay, so this is a pretty similar response to the one we have here. So let's follow up with what we did here. So I need a full completed code. Okay, so let's go down here, paste that in. Okay, so let's compare this again now. So you can see, okay, I asked for the full complete code for the project. Don't be lazy. 
Still it keeps giving me your existing functions, open file, vision, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it doesn't really seem that anything has changed in the browser version, like if we compare it kind of to the API version. Uh, but yeah, I have to do more research on this. This just came out yesterday. But uh, like if we are using this API version, we are still pay paying for each token, right? So if we are paying $20 here, we are paying for each token. I kind of want this new model into this, so I can use this instead of being frustrated getting this existing functions, existing codes and stuff. So hopefully this is a step in the right direction. Of course, this is just my first impressions. Uh, I'm going to look out for what other people are thinking about this. Let me know in the comments if you have tested out this new GPT-4 uh, Turbo model. Uh, we're going to take a look at the embeddings model soon too, because I have an, a rag video coming up. So then we're probably going to try out a new embeddings model. But anyway, that was just a short test. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.